nothing is happening here but before that we will check how is the admin page right now but we don't have the username and password so for that we have to create a super user first python manage dot py create super user this creates a super user yeah I want my username as own cars, email address, anything and password is simple it's okay yeah now I will run the server again refresh this page refresh this page And mention those credentials here yeah, and you are logged in you can see these social accounts and sites which we have mentioned in the settings.py file have been reflected here we have to edit something here so first go to social applications add social application first we will go to the Facebook one name it and think Facebook login what would be the client ID for the client ID we have to go to the Facebook developers page you will log in with your Facebook account into the my section let's create a new app display name would be social login create ID go to the basic settings here is the client uh, app ID copy this and uh, paste it here I've done it and the app secret is the secret key copy this code and mention it here ok you can leave the key field as this and select this save we have to do this for google also provider google name be google login client id we have to go to the developers google developers console google developers console okay. click this section and uh, create new project i will name it social login organization create go to the credentials go to the create credentials uh, click on oh, client our application is web application mention it the client you can name it anything I will name it as social login tutorial in here we have to mention where we are going to use this google authentication so in my case it's a local host like which is 127.0.0.1 you can also mention something like your original domain www.example.com this is a redirect url whenever a user logins or logouts this url is redirected this is the redirect url and just create it this is our client client ID and client secret ID. Copy this and paste it in here. Client ID the same. And the secret ID here. Done. Just add this. Here we are doing this because we are also telling the Django to run these things only on particular domains. 
so now we have to go to this we will save we have to go to the sites and uh, you have to change this thing go to the domain name the domain name is https display name would be same no problem at all I'm saving this yeah now we are almost done with our integration let's go to the index.html page and write those two lines of code and then save it we will run the server once again server when we are clicking on google nothing happening because we have never told to that button what to do when the button is being clicked so we will go back to the index.html page and mention this thing in the link it's nothing but it redirects your page to the facebook login page and same thing for google also but here there will be no method what does this method do it opens the facebook login page on the same tab itself there is another method in that method a new tab is opened for the facebook login so we don't need this in this tutorial so i'm just keeping it and uh, here i can just mention it as google yeah i think almost we are done the server is running good now i'll just refresh this and try to click on this now you can see we are being redirected to the google accounts just logging in we can see this page not found thing it's because we haven't told django what to show when a user logins so we will go to the settings.py file and mention this code here let's check once again yeah the server is running i will refresh this okay we will log in again yeah you can see that page is not being redirected the google button is working fine but i will show you who the user is logged in right now okay i will go to the html dot html file okay i'm using user we do this page now no one is logged in i will log in once again yeah you can see omkar2 is the username so before that i um before that we'll log out from the google account so go to the admin panel and click on log out yeah you can see we have been logged out let's try facebook button now yeah you can see this error here insecure login blocked you can't get an access token or login to this app from an insecure page try reloading the page as https colon double slash it's showing this because facebook has changed its policies it stopped sending information to the non secure connections like http protocols we can do one thing just mention local host here before that uh, we will go to admin panel once again login go to the site add one more site domain so the domain name would be local host slash this the name would be same thing okay save it and go to social applications 
go to this Google login and we have not chosen this site so I am choosing this site also and save okay. just save on the game sorry I haven't done that choose all and save yeah it looks fine go to Facebook login and do the same in here choose all save okay now we can log out from here and go here and uh, just mention here the local host now facebook page yeah now you can see no error here now you can see with facebook also we have logged in so be careful while working with local host or 127.0.0.1 because 127.0.01 is not a secured connection but local host is a secured connection that's why facebook is sending the information to local host and not the ip address okay and one more thing whenever we want to log out from the google account or facebook account what we are doing right now we are going to the admin panel and logging in and then logging out from here right so in the next video i will show you how to log in log out whenever a user is account without going into this Django admin page so please stay tuned if you feel that this tutorial has helped you please share like and comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much